Hi, I'm Aline. Welcome to my kitchen, Sunday Snippets. I'm going to be doing a product review on my Oster oven. This is an Oster French door oven, and as you see, it opens up this way. It uh, comes with two racks. I don't have the second rack in it, but the first rack is here. There is a slot here for a second rack, and it comes with a baking pan. The second ran, uh, rack that goes on top has um, a place on the bottom of it where you can actually slide the baking rack in to broil things on. You put the uh, your meats and stuff on the rack and the juices will drop down into the pan for the broiler. Now, I was asked about this by Kathy Lee and uh, she just wanted to know what type of oven I use. The main reason we got this oven uh, it is a 110 and it was to take the place and be a larger oven than my toaster oven. Uh, it's actually a toaster uh, air fryer. I, th this bottom one I used for almost two years as my oven. I've had this since October of 2019 and it has been my primary oven since November of 2019. Uh, again, it's a 110. Uh, it will uh, plug into a regular outlet or into a power strip. We actually have it plugged into a power strip. It has eight functions and the functions right here, they're toast, bake, broil, turbo convection, pizza, warm, defrost, and dehydrate. And here is the timer buttons to adjust the time up and down. And this is for the temperature to adjust the temperature up and down. This is the clock button. It sets the clock. The start button is here and the stop or cancel button is here. And the toaster setting goes from one to five, one being the lightest, five being the darkest, and it has a default of coming on on four. The pizza button has a 20 minute default. Uh, and it has a pre-programmed temperature in it that it cooks on. I tried to see what it was. It didn't show. It just showed the time. I'm assuming it's about 350 to 400 degrees because that's usually what you have to cook your pizzas on. Uh, the warm button, which again is here, has a 30 minute default and it's at 150 degrees. The defrost has a 30 minute default timer. You can adjust it up. And the dehydrator has a 30 minute default timer. And again, you can just it up as well. Um, this uh, oven will hold two 16 inch pizzas and cook them. Uh, it has a removable bottom tray for easy cleaning. And I probably need to clean it. Okay. And let's see. Other than, I should say, there's really nothing. I, I, I like this oven. I use it for everything. I bake in it. Uh, again, broil in it. I bake chicken in it. I bake uh, pasta dishes in it. I bake, bake spaghetti, uh, lasagna. Well, you had not had a conventional oven in about two years or more, and she uses those for everything you'd use a conventional. I, I haven't had a conventional oven in almost four years, and I haven't had a conventional stove big stove in about four years because I use my cooktop. But, but really for me, the only drawback this has is only got a 24 inch cord, which that's fine because this is a countertop oven. So you don't really need a long cord. But the way we have ours situated, it, I have to put the cord down behind the shelf and had to put the strip because of the way it is. But other than the 24 inch cord, everything else works fine. It does take a little bit longer sometimes to cook things in this oven than it would in a conventional oven. Uh, or even my air fryer oven here. Um, but you're only using 110 when you do it. Right. And if a recipe calls for, say, 30 minutes, I, I, I'll let you know when I'm cooking. If, if I bake it in the oven, I say it calls 30 minutes. I said probably 45 in mine. And I'm usually about right on. There's usually a di little bit of a difference. If you don't mind that, this is an excellent little oven. Uh, I have used everything but the dehydrator on here. And I may eventually use the dehydrator. If I use the dehydrator, I will do uh, a video on that showing what I'm doing, how long it took, whatever. But uh, like I said, I have 
use the bake setting. I use bake setting for my uh, cornbreads and cakes uh, and things like that. I use the convection bake for my biscuits and uh, things that have a dough and that are more solid. If it's, if it's a batter, I use bake. If it is a dough, I use con uh, convection. And I have used convection on, uh, I think, my lasagna and other things that I cook. And it do make a difference. Yeah. So just want to give you all a quick little review on that. And thank you, uh, Kathy, for asking about this. And uh, I hope you like it. I will try to find a link to this and put it in the description under the video. Uh, I have found it several different places. I bought mine from QVC, and I know the price has gone up about $30, $40, if not a little bit more since I bought mine. Uh, so, you know, you can check them out. They're really nice. And like I said, it don't take as much electricity, so therefore not as high electric bill. You know, they're really nice. One to four people, it cooks plenty. Yeah. So again, thank y'all for watching the video. Have a great day. Bye y'all.